So we've talked a bit about impersonating your competitor's ad copy to optimize your AdWords campaign before spending any money on it. But this time I want to get more into the nitty gritty of the best strategies to accomplish that and how SpyFu can help. Let's talk insurance. It's an incredibly competitive industry with a lot of big players on the board. Finding the ad copy that catches a person's eye could turn a single click into a customer with a huge lifetime value. So hitting the ground running is absolutely key to your survival. We're gonna narrow down our insurance search to something specific. Now, I don't wanna brag, but I know a thing or two about motorcycles. But beyond phrases like wicked jumps and fiery hoops, I'm not entirely sure of the best way to advertise for motorcycle insurance. I hope to use SpyFu to teach me some patterns and possibly some tricks behind good advertising. A good tip for searching through SpyFu ad history is to be kind of specific. I'll get more into why a little bit later, but for now I'm going to type in motorcycle insurance quote and scroll down to most successful advertisers and their best ads and click on view more. This page will show you everyone who is advertising on motorcycle insurance quotes, starting with those people who are the most successful. The two advertisers at the top of the list are no surprise, Geico and Progressive. And it looks like Geico is just slaying the field, possibly because their estimated advertising budget is just gargantuan compared to the other businesses on this list. But just because an advertiser is near the top doesn't necessarily mean that their copy is good or well tested. You want to make sure that the advertisers you impersonate are A-B testing their ads, testing one ad against another. Actually, that's not true. You want to make sure they're doing much more than that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G testing. For example, forfreequotes.com is near the top and they've been advertising on this keyword since 2009 and they still have only run three different ads. Is it because they found the mother load of all ad copy? Possibly, but more likely, they're being lazy. Geico is at the top spot for a reason. They've been testing ads up to the letter R, meaning they've been running 18 different ad variations for this keyword since they started bidding on it. But they always seem to go back to the H variation. This is a perfect example of a company wanting to try new things, but is always going back to the one that worked best for them, sticking with it for a while until they think they have something better. But it looks like see our low rates on motorcycle insurance, how much could you save, continues to stand the test of time for them. They've been in the top page ads for 33% of the time, and SpyFu has seen Google display their ad 100% of the time that we checked, mostly thanks to their H test. I'm gonna click on Geico right here. I wanna see if they have any other gems regarding motorcycle insurance quotes. It looks like their number one top ad is in fact that same H ad. It has a 47% of ads served, meaning that out of all the ads on this page, which is page one of our motorcycle insurance quote filter, this ad has been run 47% of the time. You'll hear me say on this page a lot, and that's because the frequency graphs, as well as the percentage of ads served, depends entirely on what is shown on this particular page. We narrow it down to a page-by-page -page basis because for big domains like Geico, who run tens of thousands of ads, any ad copy would be served less than 1% of the time if we took into consideration the entire campaign. This is why it's important to use filtering to really pinpoint the category of ad copy you're looking for. What's nice about Spider is you could pretty much stop right here if you'd like. Bam! You have the best advertiser, you have their best ad copy, what more could you ask for? Copy, paste, grab a beer. But if that's not enough for you, the next highest ad has 12% of ads served. By looking at this little graph, you'll notice the frequency that this ad has run. About six months ago, they were using it quite a bunch relative to the other ads on this page, and then started pulling back on it a few months ago, and just started using it again. This should remind you of when we looked at all of Geico's ads for the keyword motorcycle insurance quotes. They might be trying new and different ad copy across the board, but are finding that this particular ad is just too good to let go of completely. Also, this ad copy looks like it has a 100% success rate of getting in the valuable upper ads, averaging the number one spot for every time it was ran. Whereas their top ad only made it into the upper ad 61% of the time with an average position of three. 
Again, as far as we know, you can't buy your way into those top spots. You have to earn it with a good quality score. So when looking at lists of ad copy, it's a good idea to mix in the ones that reach the top of the page more often, even if they're not being served as often. Something I enjoy about this ad is its weirdness in terms of double punctuation. They end the sentence with a period, put two spaces, and then add a registered trademark symbol. What the f is that about? For me it reads, saving people on more than just car insurance. With other companies, I might think this is just an oversight, but with Geico, I'm not so sure. Using unnecessary ASCII characters, like a question mark or a registered trademark symbol, may have been a trick that they picked up to attract a customer's eye. I looked it up, and apparently that is a technique. It's silly tricks like this that make me love this tool all the more. Even if I don't want to copy and paste this exact ad copy, this one little technique might be something I want to A-B test in my campaign. I have absolutely nothing to lose by giving it a shot. So those are some really awesome features, techniques, and tricks that can help you start with optimized ad copy on day one. But now I want to show you something really cool. SpyFu has been collecting this data longer than anyone else in the industry, which puts us in a unique position to see the actual birth of a company and how they've grown. So just as an example, we've been collecting data longer than Groupon.com has been a company. So we can see the first ad that they ever ran, and every single test, winners and losers, every step along the way. They were just a small online shop, like a lot of us are. The dang CEO was probably writing some of these first ads, and they weren't the first online coupon shop, but somehow they managed to master the AdWords game. So you can see proven lessons from the start, because you know that Groupon eventually became a success story, and so you can learn these lessons without having to suffer through them yourself. When we look at one of their keywords, like daily deals, we can see where Living Social and other competitors came into the space, and how they influenced each other. It can be ridiculously empowering to see the birth and evolution of an entire company, and watch how they go from something small into a giant force on the internet. Of course, like the example before, if you don't care about their rise to power, we can simply give you the best ad copy that they're currently running. Five years of history is a lot, and there's a lot that you can gain from it. Finding your competitors' patterns of success is the key to starting with optimized ad copy in your campaign. Use domains that have a solid buying strategy already. Take their text and techniques to give your campaign a running start before you spend a dime. Thank you for watching.